As we near the end of therapeutic enactment and before people leave and uh, walk away from the group and go back into their lives, we have to be ensure that we explain to them that what they have just done is very, very intense work and challenging and very, very engaging. And so a lot of emotions are involved, a lot of different thoughts, a lot of different behaviors, and it can feel a bit like a roller coaster for a few hours after, or maybe even till the next day. So we normalize it and say, you have really done a great deal of work today at many different levels. And so you may feel a little bit um, unclear exactly what you did, but eventually that does all sort out and become clearer. After it, the body takes a while to just consolidate and calm down. And that's what we talk about, sharing with them what they can expect. So we usually say, when you go home or when you finish this work, we suggest that what you do is spend some time on your own and not actually engage in talking to a lot of people or asking a lot of questions. And so we suggest sometimes taking a walk or just staying in your room and reflecting, or in some cases, writing some of your impressions in a journal about what you learned today about yourself. So it's kind of to, kind of incubating yourself a bit, and then after that, you can engage with others. So that's the first thing, is to just tell them that they're going to feel a bit different than they normally expect, but that will shift in a few hours, and things will be back to normal. The other thing we want to do is remind them of how you want to continue to learn through this experience. So uh, one of the areas we provide is how to review and use your own journal to record new thoughts, new insights, and in some cases even dreams, because dreams will emerge after enactments, which often give us insights that we didn't have during the enactment. Um, now, also, we want to be protective of their uh, confidentiality because it was their life and it was in a confidential group. So often we say to them, it's best for you to just reflect and think about your experience, but really don't tell too many other people about what you did right away. Why? Is because you need to have time to integrate what's happened to you. And also, it's your story and it belongs to you. And so we really recommend uh, that after the enactment, many people are curious, say, tell us what happened, tell us what happened. What we use encouraged to say is, I eventually will tell you what I got out of the group, but right now, I just need to be quiet. It's a bit more uh, quiet now and reflective. Now, the other thing is you can also suggest to them when they uh, leave the group that a couple of things that they might want to say or do to um, their loved ones or other friends of theirs as they meet them. Uh, they might practice a new insight in the group approaching another person who they value a lot and say, can we just have a phone call? Can we talk? Can we go for a walk? And you initiate contact with somebody that you really trust. But for the rest of the people, it's best in the first 24 hours just to let, let uh, settle into yourself what your experience has been and don't try to describe in detail what you did because it will dilute uh, that particular experience and it will really be maybe kind of anxiety provoking retelling these stories. So resist that. Okay, next slide. Ultimately, we do this kind of work and help people uh, with trauma injuries is to learn how to be resilient and transfer their learning into new life situations following the enactment. So. Uh, what you want to do is remind the group members that, uh, yeah, they may feel, have certain lot of emotions and so on happening, but what they should be thinking about is now that I have done this, where are the situations where I do need to speak up to those very people who before I would be silent? Uh, what might I say or do that would be different? So think of to yourself before I... Before I approach them, you might rehearse and say, yes, as in my enactment, I did agree that if someone was pushing, uh, teasing me or something in the future, I would instead of going silent and walking away, 
I might say, excuse me, I ask you not to do that. That is upsetting to me. And remember to use your voice. So state what your reactions are, if that's what one of your goals was. You also might, as a result of your enactment, need to go back to somebody you know and tell them that you were sorry what happened, that you made a mistake, and you wish that uh, you could just re reconnect with them again if they would be interested in doing that. So you're thinking about all of the ways that you might start to behave a little differently from the old patterns which were characteristic uh, when you first came into the group. This way, if you can act on these new insights and say and do things differently, you'll build a greater sense of self-confidence and self-esteem, and you'll begin to see the very positive benefits of change that can come your way as a result of participating in the group. And especially if you have a friend uh, or someone in the group that you know, you could actually report to them and check in and say, guess what? I was able to speak up. Guess what? I was able to do this. And if they were as part of your enactment, they'll be able to support that. And that will help you also move forward and do things differently than before.